Hey guys, welcome back to Let Code. We have a new exciting feature from Playwright in the version 1.32, which is introducing the uh, UI mode. Okay, so we can preview the uh, execution. We can have the watch mode. Um, so if you know about the Cypress, Cypress has this for a long time, I guess. So they have like watch mode where we can just write the script at and it will just execute the script. Okay, so we have similar thing in Playwright as well, and it's which is really good. I haven't used the Cypress that much. So I cannot do the straight compassion, but to my knowledge, the playwright, this thing is really good. I will show you a quick demo. Okay. So, um, first of all, of course, we have to update our package.json file here. We have to use this 1.32.0, um, while updating, I have faced few issues. So what I did was like, I just deleted the node modules entirely and then added the version and then I do like NPM I. To install the dependency and then npx playwright install to install all the uh, new browsers okay i mean the new browser version of course yeah so once you are done with that just go to your config file and whatever the files you want to include uh, in my case i'm just going to include only one file which is the login user test and you don't have to change anything one thing i have noticed here is like um within the projects if you are using like use and then within the object if you are using this um devices uh, then it's not working basically you have to change this to like only the device i mean the curly braces you have to remove you can just update and check maybe i will create a separate video for that because in 1.31 also there are a few changes uh, which i thought of covering but i uh, intentionally skipped but yeah i probably will do that in another video let's go and see this uh, particular feature okay uh, if you're facing any issues just uh, use like this like within the curly braces use browser name equal to chrome and that should work fine okay um yeah so coming back to this you have to make it very simple just you can say like uh, npx playwright test and then followed by dash dash ui that's it very simple of course you can use it from the terminal like this or else of course you can have the have this dash dash ui in your package.json i mean within the script tag and that should also work fine okay now let's give enter and let's see the beauty now so you can have all your scripts or you can have like a particular script with the help of test match and by the way this login user is um, basically your page object model script so here you can see like we have like this dot describe and we have like this dot only but it will show all the uh, test within the describe block and here we have like few steps with the page of the model concept of course okay so let's go and see so this is how we will get initially it will be in the system theme that is dark in my case of course you can click this to toggle like white or dark theme okay and then here you can see like we have like login scenarios uh this is my test case name login dot test dot login user dot test dot ts which is my test name file name and then we have like test dot describe which is a uh, login scenario so you can see that and within that we have two tests invalid login and valid login and logout so here you can see like invalid login and uh, valid login and logout okay now here we have a couple of filters as well so if you want to search a particular test based on the filter for example if you want to go with like um text like only that invalid login so you can go and check you can just play with this just a simple search function okay and as of now i have only one project in my playwright config file so here you can see like uh, name equal to chromium so that is what it's showing if you have like multiple projects you can check and uncheck and you can run on particular browser okay um, not browser it's basically like your um, kind of web kit i guess so it's like this is what your browser okay so yeah and then let's say that i want to run this particular test so if i click on this you can see like here we got the source entire source code okay so the import statement the describe block the only block and all the other functions like what are there in my vs code i got the same okay if i want to execute very simple just click on this execute guy and this will do the magic okay so it's basically going to execute our test okay yeah so here you can select the test has completed here you can select green check mark that means of course the test is passed if you want to see the console log you can click on this toggle output which will give you this um 
console output okay so that's it very simple and if you want to refresh like reload this you can click on this okay now if i click on this particular guy it will open your vs code so wherever the code you have written it will open that one just click on yes and it will open okay why we might use this in the sense like if you want to do some changes but this is not required you can just go and change something on your script from here itself that will be reflected there okay but yeah so before going to that let me show you one more thing of course you can uh, do this and you can do this as well as per your requirement okay now here you can see like browser dot um i mean browser context dot new page so new page is there and then it's navigating to the uh, login page and then it's going to fill so here you can see like uh, located dot get by username so you can see the blue color highlight let me expand yeah so you can see the um x the highlight okay and here you can see like uh before and this is your after so like uh, once i enter the user username you can see something like this this is the before action and this is the action okay so before and after and also the action action is like if you're going to do something like click action you can see like here it's doing the click so all this stuff you can see this is similar to your um a trace viewer okay but in um like repeat and playback i can say okay so for example the execution is completed i want to see step by step what really happened so i can just go and check like here okay the it found the username it found the password it did the login and uh yeah and then it's going to check for like alert that is this one the error message and here you can see like we have cross one that means there is some error message in your console okay so in your browser console so for example if i go to this particular uh application of course this feature is also available in trace viewer so i hope you remember just in case if you forgot let me show you so for example here if you go to this um, console or the network for example i'm going to give some uh, bad data and i'm going to click on login you can see like in the network tab we have this 401 unauthorized message right so here you can see it's the same thing so if you go to the network and if you um, click on this login button of course we know that we are going to get this 401 and yeah you got all the network things if you go to the console so here you can see like we have this thing that is there in the console as well so if you go here you can see this unauthorized measure error message okay so that's really cool so you can just it like once the execution is done if you want to see something uh, this is really good so you can just go step by step and see what went wrong or what is right okay so this is one of the great feature another feature is the watch mode watch mode in the sense like as soon as i change i do some changes in my script that's going to be reflect here and it's going to read on the test always okay so for example uh, it don't do by default you have to click on this watch mode so if you click on here that means it's going to check for all the script if you want to see for specific script you can click on this here okay so for example if i click on this watch mode now you can see a small highlight now if i go to my vs code let's say let's say that i'm going to do some changes for example as soon as i go to the login page i want to verify the title okay so here i will say like assert expect page and then to have um title and i'm going to give empty title just to show you, show you the error message i'm going to save this and then if i so once i do the changes and here you can see like it's basically going to start the execution one more time so here you can select this loading thing and of course you can see like the it navigated to that particular page and there is a like to have title but of course there's a failure so you can see those in red color and yeah that's it very cool right so uh yeah so there is a failure and it got stopped okay now let's say that I added in the very first so that's why like uh okay let me correct it first so i'm going to have the title as book cart i'm going to save this file if you go back to your playwright test ui you can see it's running once again and here also you can see like we got the ui or else there is will be also browser if you want to if you want to pop this out you can click it and it will just give you the uh browser okay um yeah so the test is passed and here since the title passed like it continued with the step okay 
So I have added in the very beginning. What if I add to the last step? The same thing. It doesn't matter where you are going to add your step. It basically um, run the execution. Okay. So this dot page and to have title of book cart. Okay. So you can see like as soon as I do the typing, uh, simultaneously is also doing some. Uh, execution over here that is how the watch mode works so it can be helpful for debugging but i will not use it because as soon as i do changes if it's going to execute that might be really messy sometimes i guess okay but of course it's a really good feature this is what there in cypress as well but i haven't used that personally so i cannot comment on that but i think this is really good okay and it will just keep on running always so make sure like you turn off the watch mode if you are not going to use it okay and here of course the console is there and you can see like what is passed what is failed and all the other things okay so that's it it's really good i just wanted to make a quick video because this is really awesome there are a few other changes as well in the version 1.31 itself there are a few other changes as well like we have now dependencies so if i want to run a script based on a particular script i can do that which is really good so i can say like this is like come similar to your uh, test engine features now okay and yeah there are a few other changes like we can now do the uh, locator chaining which was expected for a long time and that's really good probably i will do a separate video for that and yeah so one more reason this is why i prefer playwright with node.js either it can be javascript or the typescript not the java because this feature is i guess extensively for playwright test runner so of course we are saying like npx player at test dash dash ui which is not available for java okay so not sure if they have released of course the java version uh yeah there is no java for this okay see this is why i prefer playwright with typescript the most and you got this idea as well already i have given you my thoughts in previous video so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you the next one very soon